Don't worry about being dummy. Create this awesome game just in 17 minutes without programming. We're here in Construct3's website, which is a 2D and 3D HTML5 game engine that exports to these platforms. And this is an awesome tool that I worked with for a few years. And in this video, we're gonna create a 2D top-down shooter game uh, without coding using free version of Construct3. Okay, so let's get started right now. Launch now and we're gonna add a new project in this size 1080 by 9020 which is full HD portrait size and I'm gonna copy the size go in here layout one and paste it and we have this empty layout that we're gonna call this uh, game and this one is gonna be game sheet okay Game sheet uh, is a place for adding actions and events, uh, just like writing codes for the game. Okay, and in here in the game, we're gonna use as editor. We're gonna add a new object for background. So for adding it, double click on the screen, search for a sprite. I'm gonna open it from my assets folder. BG is my the object. And let's put it here, make it bigger using control shift and this little point here. And I'm gonna call this BG. And next thing I need to do is adding my shooter object. So I'm gonna search for sprite and open it for uh, open it from assets folder. It's gonna be my player. And let's make it smaller. I'm gonna call this player and Let's just run the game. As you can see in the new tab of the uh, browser, we have uh, the game running, okay? So now let's add the mechanic of movement and rotation for the player. Let's go in here. <clears throat> First of all, we need to add the movement uh, mechanic. So search for um, eight direction, which is a behavior for uh, objects in Construct 3. So I'm going to set max speed to 400 and let's just run. As you can see, using arrow keys on the keyboard, we can move and have fun. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, because we want to rotate the player uh, uh, by position of the mouse, we need to set angle to no in here. And I need to add uh, mouse object and then we need to go in game sheet in here let's add a new group called player and in here it's b for a blank event and here at action uh, player gonna uh, gonna change the angle to our position of mouse it's gonna be mouse.x and mouse.y so let's run as you can see it looks to the mouse just like this and using arrow keys we're gonna move okay now let's add uh, our bullet object so let's double click here sprite and I'm gonna add this object let's make it smaller call this bullet and it needs to have bullet behavior behavior okay and let's change the speed to 1000 and make it disabled at a start and also we need to destroy this uh, this initial object so for doing that let's go and add a new group called start and hit B double click system on a startup layout we're gonna destroy the first split we have I'm gonna put the group above of this oh it's hard okay now you can see that that bullet is destroyed okay so we need to uh, oh we need to create bullet uh, by hitting mouse uh, mouse left click okay so in here player hit B button double click mouse on click left clicked we're gonna create our bullet object on position of player player.x player.y and the layer 0 is this one 
this is the index which is zero and we're gonna run and as you can see when I click it just and just a useless uh, bullet we're gonna create okay and we need to enable the bullet behavior and also we need to set the angle of bullet before that so let's go in here bullet set angle of motion is going to be player dot angle and then we need to enable bullet set enabled okay run and as you can see works very good but it creates the bullet from this position in the middle we need to create the bullet from here so let's add a new image point in here put it here okay and let's go in here change the position to player dot image point x number one in the parentheses i'm going to copy paste in here change x to y and the number one that we add is this number okay let's run and there we go very good now let's add our uh, enemy double click sprite and I'm gonna open it this uh, these three frames of enemies that we have are in here and I need to add new image point for shooting of enemies point okay so I'm gonna put it here the right click and apply to whole animation okay we have image point number one for each enemy I have and we're gonna choose one of these uh, enemies uh, randomly when we create a new enemy okay and you need to select this animation and set the speed to zero because it's not an not an animation we're gonna choose one of these as a new object so I'm gonna make this object smaller just like this I'm gonna call this enemy and let's go in here and create a new group called enemy and hit B double click every 0.3 second we need to create a new object enemy on position of let's let's put a put it on a random position it's gonna be random layout width from zero to layout width and random layout height from zero to layout height and this is the layout width we have and this is the oh and this is the layout height we have okay and the uh, axis starts from here zero by zero and this is the position of layout width and layout height so uh, the position of the random position of enemy is going to be something like this place this rectangle place okay so we have enemy now we need to uh, set random frame for it so it's going to be random self which is the enemy dot animation frame count okay so it's gonna choose one of these based on the animation frame count now let's run the game and as you can see we have these uh, enemies here now we need to um, make them limited okay so let's go in here copy paste this even and in here let's say if enemy dot count is less than five then create it and now as you can see we have just five enemies in the screen and when we uh, destroy them we, we're gonna have a new one okay so now let's add the moving enemies mechanic so double uh, sorry hit B button in here and uh, we're gonna say enemy gonna look to the players position player dot X player dot Y and also enemy gonna move forward to the uh, to, the, to its uh, angle and it's the uh, speed of movement which is going to be 0.5 seconds you can make it faster all right they're coming okay now we need to destroy 
the enemies. For doing that, let's go in here. Let's say enemy on collision with bullet, then enemy should destroy. Let's make this bigger. And now let's run again. As you can see, we have five enemies coming to me <laughs> and I destroy them. A little issue we have that is uh, we may have enemies uh, creation very near to the player so for avoiding that we need to go in here and say if distance of enemy and position which is going to be enemy.x and enemy.y this is the first position and the second position is going to be player's position player.x player.y if distance of these two players is less than 500 then we're gonna destroy enemy run okay now we have uh, we have them out of the range so next thing we should do is adding uh, enemy shoot okay so let's uh, let's just clone this object right click clone and I'm gonna call this enemy bullet and let's make the speed to 300 and we're gonna go and replace the image to this one I'm gonna crop it I'm gonna set the image point to this position and let's copy and paste this uh, action and hit R for replacing with enemy bullets so we're gonna destroy the first enemy bullet we have in the game and also we need to go in here uh, let's just add a new behavior for enemy uh, click on it in here behaviors and I'm gonna search for timer and let's say on timer tag nothing if timer reached then we need to uh, create our uh, enemy bullet so I'm gonna copy these actions paste it here and hit R for replacing bullet with enemy bullet and R for replacing enemy uh, player with enemy okay so it's gonna create enemy bullet on enemy's position and we need to start this timer okay so let's go in here enemy on uh, yeah start timer duration is gonna be four second regular yeah it's gonna create enemy bullet every four seconds and we need to run the game yep they're shooting yes but when it hits to the bullet doesn't uh, happen something okay we need to add flash to the player for flashing and in here it's B button double click player on collision with enemy bullet first thing we need to do is destroy the enemy bullet and then we need to activate the flash of player for half second and for adding health to the player we can uh, create a new variable at global variable I'm gonna call this health which is type of number and initial value is gonna be 3 and here we're gonna subtract from health of player okay let's run shoot me yeah shoot 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 come on okay one two three and it needs to die now okay so let's say if health is equal to zero then we need to destroy a player and then after half second we need to restart the game reset global variable and then restart layout okay now we have this let's run shoot me come on come on yep yep 
yeah that's it now we have to have uh, we need to have uh, a score okay so let's add a text for showing a score I'm gonna put it here make it white set size to 100 and let's set these options to center center and center and this is going to be txt score and that's going to show my score variable that i just created score zero and when i destroy a enemy an enemy then we need to add to score five okay and here we need to set text of a score to show score variable okay so it initially shows the uh, text text okay so I need to go in here on a startup layout oh copy this on a startup layout just show score okay you can see that uh, this score starts from zero we are gonna add to score and something that I need to add to the game is explosion animation for enemies so double click here sprite and I'm gonna open it from this folder and animation speed is gonna be 30 and I'm gonna destroy this explosion object oh I forgot to rename it explosion and when we uh, destroy the enemy we need to create explosion on enemy's position enemy.x enemy.y and when animation of enemy finished on finished its animation which is animation number one we need to destroy the object uh, also I need to destroy enemy bullet when it's outside of layout and bullet object when it's outside of layout okay you can see that we have this nice animation with it uh, when it destroys hope you enjoyed the tutorials have fun